Hi, if you are watching this video, uh, the chances are that uh, you had a kernel panic with an error message that uh, suggests you to boot with, uh, in my case, it was no APIC option, but it can be something else like a uh, ACPI off. Okay. Um, first of all, if you are booting from a live CD, after selecting your uh, language, um, just hit F6 and uh, mark the boot options that were suggested to you in the error message and uh, hit enter. Now uh, you can proceed with the install process as usual. Okay, no APIC, hit enter. Okay, uh, so in the end of the install process you will be prompted to reboot your system and after the reboot uh, you'll face uh, the same problem with the kernel panic so uh, to prevent this uh, you will need to temporarily add the no apic or whatever option to the boot line so that's how to do it Uh, select your desired kernel and press E on the keyboard to edit. Just scroll down and add the word no apic uh, and just try after the word splash. Just remember to leave the space between. Okay, and uh, hit Ctrl X to boot into your freshly installed system so after you successfully booted into your fresh hard drive install you need to make the changes uh, permanent for that to happen you will need to edit the file called grub and uh, it's located in your ATC directory ATC default directory so I will show you how to do it with the uh, gedit but you can uh, do it with your uh, favorite editor like uh, nano for example okay so uh, open the terminal and type sudo gedit slash ATC slash default slash bump and hit enter type your password okay so after the text file opens um, Locate the line that says a uh, grab cmd line linux default equals quiet splash. So right here after the word splash you will have to add your uh, desired boot option. In my case it's no epic. Remember to leave a space okay after that you need to save the file okay and one last step is to run sudo update minus grub Excuse me. Okay. G 
generating grub.cfg found Linux image also Microsoft Windows done so that's it uh, you are finally done and can enjoy your fresh Ubuntu thanks for watching